Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Beastly Eel, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the latest episode of, excuse me, The Penguin. This was by far an incredible episode. If you have not seen it, you have to stop this video and watch it immediately. Um, I was talking to a buddy of mine when we were, when we both watched Agatha's episode this week, meaning like um, last Wednesday, we were like, oh, Penguin's not going to be able to compete with this episode. And then this episode came out that Sunday, aka this Sunday that just passed, and it definitely competed with Agatha for sure. Um, this gave us twists and turns that we were not expecting and gave us a backstory in which we were, which was very much needed, but also a fresh take on a little bit of the Falcons. So let's get right into it. This was pretty much a flashback. So we get the start of the episode is the very, um, is the time piece that's missing between the Maronis coming in to uh, Penguin and Sophia. And they both, they get them both on their knees. And right before Vic comes in with the car. So we find out that the Maronis were basically explaining to Penguin, like, who do you think you are? You think, you know, this is your choice. You, like, you thought this was a good idea. We thought you had, we thought you killed um, Antoni um, Antonio. Oh, I'm sorry, Alberto, um, because that's what his sister wanted, and it turns out we were wrong, and that she had no idea what was going on, and Sophia the whole time was trying to figure, put the pieces together, even though, let's be honest, Sophia's not an idiot, she just wanted Penguin to finally admit it, uh, and he never did, and that's when the truck, um, uh, the vehicle comes, and then we see exactly what we saw at the um, end of the last episode, which was Penguin and Vic getting away, and Sophia, well, we find out what happens to her. She passes out at the back of the bar, and the Maronis leave because they have already been hurt by Vic, and they're going to go after Penguin. And so what we have now is a flashback, and the flashback is her time um, as a young girl. No. Um, so it starts off with her seeing her mother dead, and we see that she's um, hung, and that's pretty much how it goes from there, right? No more details added for now. We then see a Sophia as an adult who is speaking um, in front of, well, for a charity for women with, um, for better mental health um, practices, so they can get the help that they need so nobody kills themselves like her mother did. That's when a woman uh, talks to Sophia. Um, first off, we also find see Penguin, a younger version of him, um, being the driver for Sophia. Um, they get ready to leave, and that's when this woman comes by and was like, hey, you know, you did a great speech, but I wanted to talk to you. And so Sophia's like, all right, well, what do you got to tell me? Turns out she's a reporter, and she's got some dirt on Mr. Falcone, her father, Harmon. And basically explains, like, hey, you know, all these women have committed suicide, supposedly, um, by hanging, which happened to be the same way your mother died, and yet they all worked for your father. And Sophia's basically telling her to go, F off, screw you, I'm not dealing with this, and she leaves. Um, so her and Penguin leave, and they deal with what they got to deal with. They then have a, uh, Sophia has a family dinner with Carmine and Alberto. Um, Carmine is talking all the praises of Sophia and everything she's done. And then he's like, son, did you get the, you know, the money situation that I asked you to take care of? And Alberto's like, oh, no, I, I'll get it done tomorrow, Dad. Um, and, you know, he's on the phone the whole time, pretty much ignoring everyone. Then he gets up and leaves. And that's when Carmine basically expresses to Sophia that, hey, you know, your brother's an idiot. I want you to run this family when I when the time comes. And she's like, but dad, you know, I'm a, you know, what's the rest of the family going to think? He goes, well, I'm in charge. Whatever I say goes. And whatever I tell them to do is what they're going to do. And so she's all right. She's like, okay. So she starts asking questions about her mom and about like, hey, you know, did mom ever get um, help or anything like that? And he's dodging questions or attempting to. But is also giving answers at the same time. But it's clearly obvious that he's hiding something. 
And then he finally gets to the point where he's like, you know, I, you know how I feel about being asked all these questions. And, you know, when I'm, when we're bringing up old wounds, you know how much that irritates me. You know, I'm sorry, dad. You know what? Um, what, what do you want for your birthday? And he's like, whatever you get me is going to be good enough. So she, um, she then calls up the reporter to meet with her. And the reporter gives her all the information about all these women who have been claimed to have committed suicide by hanging. However, they all have a handprint on their throat. Um, but yet still was considered a suicide. Um, along with the fact that they had defensive wounds on their hands. Um, and that's when Sophia really remembers what happened that night that she saw her dad. I mean, I saw her mom hang herself. She saw her mother hanging there. And then she sees her mother's nails cracked and everything else. And then she sees her dad's hands covered in scratch marks. Deep scratch marks, too. Deep scratch marks. But anyway, so we have all that going on. And she realizes, oh, no, her dad could be the hangman. And that's when she basically tells this woman to go F off, go away. She's going to make sure her family buries her, all that stuff, right? So she leaves and gets in the car. Penguin basically is like, hey, you know, what the heck's going on? Like, you know, you really shouldn't be talking to the press like that. And she's like, you're just my driver. Shut up and do what you're supposed to do. And that's it. Now, the reason why this hurt him so much was because Sophia was the only one that respected Penguin at all. And it was only at this moment where she disrespected him ever in his entire time of knowing Sophia. So during this, we have them go to the um, Carmine's birthday party and Penguin's there. And then he explains to Sophia, Hey, you know, your dad wants to speak to you. And she goes in there and Carmine basically expresses his distrust in Sophia because of the fact that she went to the press and she's like, dad, you know, it's not anything what you're thinking of. She tries to dodge it like her dad, but finally gives up and says, yeah, you know what? I did. But you know what? She had nothing on you. And I told her if she ever expressed anything that she was going to be taken out. And he's like, you know what? I think you're feeling sick and I think you should be taken home. So he orders Penguin to drive her home. That's when the police come, pull her out, pull the vehicle over. Penguin tries to stop them from arresting her. They arrest her and put her in, um, in a holding cell. Where her lawyer and Alberto explain to her that they're, she's going to be put into Arkham because um, Carmine is expressing that um, she is mentally unstable and that she needs to go to Arkham. So she's going to have to go to Arkham for six months before her trial. Sophia starts freaking out. Alberto explains to her, you're a Falcone. You can handle this. You got this. You're stronger than all of us. So she gets in there. And she's dealing with a lot at Arkham. So she's dealing with the fact that she gets attacked on her first day there because one of the um, inmates was unchained and beat Sophia up very badly. Um, it gets to the point where they have Sophia try to kill that woman that beat her up, refused to, and then that woman grabbed the um, used the fork that Sophia was supposed to use to kill her and kill her, her or kill herself basically. So the other inmate killed herself. Sophia gets blamed. She begins to go through electroshock therapy. Um, that's when Sophia starts to really lose it um, to the point where she doesn't know what's real or not. Um, and she starts seeing the wallpaper of her where her mom had died um, in her cell. This woman next, uh, her next door cellmate or next door um, neighbor, I guess the best way to phrase it. Um, the person in the next cell is Magpie, who's basically making her think she's crazy. She continues to get the electro electroshock therapy, where she's really having a difficult time focusing. And that's when she has a meeting with Alberto, who explains that, you know, I'm so sorry, but there's not going to be a trial. They're saying you're incapable of, um, you're mentally unstable, and you're unable to um, go, you know, work on your own defense. So she's um not able to stand trial that's when sophia actually snaps kills magpie and then basically looks at the doctor and says i'm not a killer um and that's when she wakes up and is in her psychiatrist's office um where she you know she had taken a sh she, she was um taken there after he found her behind the bar knocked out and that's when she realizes you know what Every man in my life has lied to me. I shouldn't trust anybody. 
even Penguin screwed me over, and I actually started to trust him, and he screwed me over more than anybody else. So I'm going to stop doing that. And so she basically explains to her therapist, you know what, you're right, I should start anew, and I'm going to. So she goes back to the Falcone home, where they're celebrating Luca on being the head of the family, and she gets there, and everyone is not happy to see her. She has to do a speech and explains how she knows everyone put her in the Arkham and that they wanted to keep her there forever, and they failed. But she says, you know what? We're all going to have a brand new start tomorrow, and I think it's going to be great for all of us. And she goes upstairs to go to bed, so we think. Um, she goes upstairs, grabs the little girl, brings her down to the greenhouse, and they sleep in the greenhouse together. When they wake up, um, when she wakes up, she puts on a gas mask and goes inside the Falcone home, where apparently she clogged up the pipes to cause carbon monoxide poisoning for everyone in the house except for Vidi. Um, we see that everyone is dead except for Vidi and the little girl and obviously Sophia. And she wakes up Vidi and basically explains, hey, we got work to do. And we got a lot of things to take care of. And that, my friends, is how the episode ends. This was a crazy roller coaster of a ride of an episode. Super loved it. I mean, this was by far one of the best episodes, hands down. Um, but like I said, this was definitely one of the better episodes we've had in um, completely. Like this was just the best episode of Penguin so far. Um, super excited to see where the rest of this series is going to go. Um, I thought this wouldn't happen until later on in the series. But it's happening a lot sooner, and I cannot wait to see what happens next. Um, but let me know what you guys thought about this episode down in the comments. Did you like it? Did you not? And why? And as always, if you like the content you see, please make sure to like and subscribe down below. Other than that, this is going to be Beastly Eel signing out. Have a great night. Bye-bye.